All right, I got a cell, brand new cylinder sitting here in the milling machine. <clears throat> We're getting ready to machine these heads out here. I'm going to go ahead and machine all this top surface stuff here. And I need a good way of holding it down. And the other method I was trying to do coming off the base gasket that I already cut. This is this surface here. There was just no way of really holding the head down. Because I need top surface. I have to cut all the surface so there's no place to really put clamps except for right here on the one side. And there's nothing over here to hold down on this side, so that didn't really fly. So this way here I can go ahead and use the existing head bolts that we have right here that the factory uses. I'll just lay it up on here like that and we should be good to go. <clears throat> so I'll be able to cut all these surfaces, do whatever holes I need to fix and do everything in one shot. So I went ahead and uh, I've already uh, deburred the cylinder. So these are all brand new, so I had to deburr them. And I had to uh, Go ahead and dye the head bolts and tap the head bolt holes here inside the head so everything's nice and clean. So all the threads and everything go down real nice and, nice and smooth. Helps to put in the hole though. So they all go right on down just like they're supposed to. So, that's what I like about that. Well, the problem with this new cylinder is there's a eight tenths of a thousand difference between this side and this side, and this is even. The side to side is even, so this is not quite dead flat. And I tried putting shims down here under the uh, under here, but my thou and a half shims cock it up, so then it turns into a thou too high on this side compared to this side. So I'll just go ahead and leave it the way it is. Eight tenths out, it's not going to kill us too bad. It's on our side to side dimension, so. That's right. So it's eight tenths of a thou from here to here. So being a thou way the hell out of here shouldn't really affect us all that much. And in the big picture, that's a very small amount of error. So we'll just live with it. Don't like it, but oh well, I have to live with it. So yeah, right now I'm gonna go ahead and put all these head bolts up in here. Get this down. I don't have any head gasket on here, so everything will sit flat. And the, uh, like I said, deburred everything, so I shouldn't want anything being uneven up on the top. If you had a head gasket in here, head gaskets don't pull down even, and you can easily get a couple towel of air very easily from side to side. So, all right, without a gasket is our best option for being square and straight. So, so let's put all these bolts up in here. So I'm going to go ahead and put all these bolts up in here, and then I'll do an indicator check on this head along all these surfaces, see how bad it is, and then give you guys an idea how much Harley has these things not very accurate. So for now, I'm going to put all these head bolts in and tighten them down a little bit. All right, I just went and squared off the head here. <clears throat> this is our only straight surface on the head that you can indicate off of for side to side angle. So. See where it hits the surface there. So we're pretty square. So it tells us where we're at there. So we move the indicator up out of the way. Now we gotta kinda come in here and figure out kind of roughly where we're at on the side to side and the surface is here. So go ahead and bring this down a little bit until it touches. Put that on five right there. Knock this thing out of gear. All right, let's go see what we got for side to side here. So it looks like we're about seven, about eight and a half down. Run all the way see what we get. like we're holding about a half a thou, total, totally a thou. I had some welding right here too, so that's pretty good. So after all the machining we did on the other side of the head, I was able to get that pretty darn flat there on that dimension. Now we go ahead and rotate this thing 90 degrees. We'll go catch, catch the end and go across that surface. So 
So we were about eight and a half on there. Let's see, we get this direction. Not too bad. So the eight tenths of air we had down here translates into about eight tenths the other direction. So that means you got about a thousand and a half of tapering this thing this way. So overall, this head's pretty square. So I'm good with that. Now you want to see how bad these decks are up on here. A lot of times these things are pretty far out. So I'll go ahead and rotate this around so we can get a measurement here. About the middle of the head, bring it down. Okay. Got close enough. A couple of thou over there. Not too bad, really. This one here we just barely even touched, so we're about four thou down on this side. And we're back up to our couple over on that side. So. It's a couple down, about zero. So what's going on here, this, this one's low, this one's high. The other two are in between, so this thing's got a little bit of a twist up. Which is very common with these things over the years with all the rockers up on here, they twist around a lot. So I'm going to fly cut this off up on the top. I'll come by and cut this surface here, get this all zeroed out and squared. We'll have a nice flat surface to work to. So overall with all the wielding we did on the head, didn't really warp the top of the head very much at all, which is a, a big plus. Sometimes they're out like 15,000, so this one's pretty darn nice. So alright, I'm gonna change the cutter out and get ready to do some cutting. 